Let us consider a spring having a spring constant k uh, at one end of one end of which is attached a mass m. Now the spring let let's consider the spring is not stretched, which means the m is in the mean position. Let's draw a line like this. So this is the mean position. Now what happens when the spring is stretched to a distance x? That means if a horizontal force is applied to this spring, the spring will stretch to a distance of x. That is the new position of the mass m is x units from the mean position. Let's call this distance x or the extension of the spring. From Hooke's law, the spring constant k remains the same. From Hooke's law, the force applied in order to stretch its, a spring through a distance x is equal to k times that is spring constant into extension. Clear. Now suppose the same spring is stretched to a small distance dx. Suppose this distance is equal to dx. So for this small distance dx, the force remains the same. Since there is no difference between the force applied at that, call this as case A, this as case B, and this as case C. Since the extension is small for the case C, there is no difference in force for the case B and C. Now, you have the work done W dw the small work done the small work done dw is equal to f into dx work is always force times displacement since this in these two cases b and c that since the displacement is very small the force remains constant so dw is equal to kx dx clear now in order to get the total work you have to integrate integral dw is equal to integral kx dx so this will be w is equal to integral dw is equal to w you can remove the k or take the k outside of integral since it is constant integral k x dx clear suppose the spring is extended from the original position mean position this is the mean position 0 that is x is equal to 0 to let this call this position x is equal to some x 0 so 0 to x 0 so this will be w is equal to k into integral x dx will be x square by 2. Lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is x0. So work done is equal to k into first substitute the upper limit that is x0 square by 2 minus 0 minus 0 square by 2. Therefore, W is equal to W is equal to half k x 0 square. Clear. So, the work done on the spring is equal to work done to stretch through a distance of x0 is equal to half kx0 square. Mm -hmm. Now, let's consider the case of the spring. What, what just happened to the spring? The spring is given a strain. Clear? The spring is given a strain. That is, we are extending the spring from its mean position x equal to 0 to a new position x is equal to x0. So, the energy possessed by a body due to its strain is called the potential energy. So, this work done is stored as potential energy. So, the potential energy of a stretched string is equal to half k x0 square. 
where x0 is the distance through which it is extended. Clear.